Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we are going over the 10 weirdest unlockables in God of War games. You know, up close, you actually look kind of pasty, if you don't mind me saying. It's it's kind of gross. Oh, I it. God of War is mostly pretty serious, but for this list, we'll be looking at the strangest unlockable features throughout the franchise. Which of these do you think is the weirdest? Let us know in the comments below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. McKratos, God of War, Chains of Olympus. Simply put, Kratos should not have hair. Grow out that beard as much as you want, but even a buzz cut would look odd. By beating Chains of Olympus and then beating the Challenge of Hades, players could unlock this Scottish costume. Not only does it put him in a kilt, but it also gives him flaming red hair. Additionally, it turns his Blades of Chaos into massive axes. That part at least fits with Kratos' bloodlust. Though odd, it's a great costume for a replay. It quadruples Kratos' damage output at the cost of taking double the damage and having the amount of green and blue orbs he can collect. High Resolution Mode, God of War 2. In God of War 2's Arena Mode, it was possible to earn a staggering 999,999 hit combo, at which point a secret URL would flash across the screen. Eventually, players dug through the site's puzzles to uncover a high-resolution mode, offering a crisper way to replay. But hiding the ability to play in HD is certainly strange. Director of Technology Tim Moss would later state that it was hidden because it was implemented so late in development. He also shared how to unlock it, holding down L1, L2, L3, Square, and Circle as the game boots up. But honestly, the game already looked so good that it was hard to tell the difference. Drain your godly powers into the sword, Kratos. Only then will you reach your full potential. The Grave Digger, God of War, Ghost of Sparta. The kindly old Grave Digger, later revealed to be Zeus, helped Kratos escape the underworld in the first God of War game. The PSP's Ghost of Sparta paid homage to the alter ego, though it took a lot to unlock. He can only be unlocked after completing every other challenge in the Temple of Zeus, and he can only be used in the Arena Mode. As you begin, he'll immediately transform into the head honcho of the Greek Pantheon. While his combos never get too complicated, it's immense fun using electrified attacks against hordes of enemies. Taunting to hear him say things like, Die Mortal, is just the cherry on top. Die Mortal! Spud of War, God of War, Chains of Olympus. Somewhere here is a joke about Kratos never looking so tasty before. Another Chains of Olympus costume, Spud of War dresses Kratos up like a baked potato, complete with what looks like a tinfoil diaper and potato cutters instead of his blades. Unlocking it doesn't require anything too difficult, you just have to beat the game. But the costume essentially warrants a replay. It grants Kratos unlimited magic and makes him take 25% of normal damage. Plus, there's the added benefit of making him look absolutely ridiculous. So it's a win-win. Head of Helios, God of War 3. You will never defeat Zeus, Spartan. While it is an item you're required to get and use, the Head of Helios is still one of the oddest unlockables in God of War. Sure, Kratos has used several of his enemies' body parts as items before, and this isn't even his first severed head, but the brutality of Helios' demise is one of the most unsettling kills throughout the franchise, to a point where we actually felt a bit bad for him. <laughs> 
It's definitely useful, able to reveal secrets and stun enemies, somehow even able to charge its light beam. However, it will always be one of the stranger items Kratos has ever used. Secret Messages, God of War. The original God of War gave players two weird audio unlockables. By beating the game on God mode, players would be given a phone number to call. Doing so would lead to a recording of Kratos congratulating you and revealing that he keeps Ares' soul locked in a special chamber. The second secret message is one of the best easter eggs in the series. We shall conquer the perils that lay before us, and we shall always- Kratos, dude, dude, they did it! They found our easter egg! Who are you? Destroying both statues in Kratos' throne room would earn you a jumbled phone number that, when decoded, gave you another audio recording. Only this time, you'd hear Kratos angrily murdering director David Jaffe for insulting his complexion. If only more modern games included unlockables that were this bizarre and hilarious. You know, up close, you actually look kind of pasty, if you don't mind me saying. It's, it's kind of gross. Oh, my death ship! Ah! Ah! Jeez! What are we doing? What are you God of War, God of War 2. Wait a minute, there's something fishy going on here. This costume is unlocked after beating God of War 2 and, as you probably could have guessed, dresses Kratos like a big blue cod. It also humorously turns his Blades of Athena into fish hooks. Unfortunately, it doesn't increase his strength or reduce the damage he takes. It simply doubles the amount of orbs Kratos collects from any given source. But it's one of the silliest costumes Kratos has ever worn, making it more than worth playing through the game again. It returned for 2018's God of War, where it offered a lot more benefits, but didn't look nearly as funny. Ratatosker, God of War 2018. Ratatosker! Every waking hour, you two! Atreus can gain a handful of useful animal summons in God of War, but one of the most helpful and by far the strangest is Ratatosker the Talking Squirrel. He can only be unlocked late in the game and can be a bit difficult to get. He's more than worth the trouble, though. Ratatosker! Why do you hate me? Depending on which arrows Atreus has equipped, summoning Ratatosker will earn you a health stone or a rage stone. Each time you summon him, he'll deliver a healthy helping of sass that never fails to make us chuckle. In fact, it's worth summoning him even when you don't need him just to hear what he's got to say. Ratatosker saves the day again. Mime of War, God of War, Chains of Olympus. Last, but certainly not least, of the Chains of Olympus unlockable costumes is the Mime of War. Conquering the game on God Mode unlocks it, dressing Kratos like one of the silent performers. Cleverly, it turns the Blades of Chaos and other weapons invisible, and it never gets old seeing Kratos rip foes to shreds seemingly empty-handed. The benefits it grants you is double the amount of blue and green orbs and four times the amount of red orbs Kratos can gain, making it very hard to kill you. But if you've already beaten God Mode, a Mime of War playthrough is just so you can laugh at the ridiculousness. Robotos, God of War, Ghost of Sparta. It would be one thing to make Kratos look like an actual robot, but this costume is even weirder for making him look like a kid who made his own Halloween costume. Robotos dons Kratos in cardboard, duct tape, and hoses to make him look like a cheap robot. Kratos' colored-in tattoo is an extra nice touch.
It's one of the unlockables found in the Temple of Zeus, costing a hefty 250,000 red orbs. It increases the time between hits so it's easier to build up your combos. However, it also decreases damage output on the Blades of Athena and Arms of Sparta, and makes magic attacks cost twice as many blue orbs. Still, the design is so great that it's worth the negatives. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.